Hello guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Happy Tuesday, my name is Connor if you are new. Oh! I'm feeling particularly tired today. I think I feel tired when I ovulate, but I just got back from the gym, it's the afternoon. I'm not a fan of an afternoon gym session. I also did a run this morning and it was probably one of the hardest runs I've done in a very long time. And I would never normally pair a workout with that, but I'm a little bit behind in this week. But it's good, we've had a productive day. I've filmed some reels, I need to edit them. I've done some washing. The great thing about summer or the heat, it was very hot today, is things will dry on the line in three seconds. It's great. Whereas winter, I swear it takes multiple days to dry. But we're going to go to Grilled um, in like an hour and a half for dinner. Um, my boyfriend and I have been really into Grilled right now. And we're normally very GYG oriented. But Grilled is great, especially since we're both in a fat loss phase. Easy tracking and it's delicious. But I'm going to hop in the shower and I'm going to wash my hair because... Oh, do I wash it? Because I'm getting it done tomorrow and I don't particularly wash my hair before I get it done. But it's got like hairspray and stuff in it. I think I'm gonna wash it. I know that's a big no-no, but I don't actually think I'm gonna be bleaching it tomorrow. Who knows? Okay. Okay, this is... Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me, but this is what I'm wearing to grill. It's cute. It's a little bit chilly though, so I'm gonna take a jacket. to go get my hair done. I feel a little bit funny today. I had a smoothie in the car and I, I don't know if it's made me feel a bit nauseous, um, but I'm gonna get a coffee from the cafe. I recently got some new blonde shampoo, purple shampoo and conditioner, and it's really, really made my hair, I think, blonde. Like it's gotten rid of a lot of the brassiness, well not the brassiness, but it's a lot less golden. So I think today all I really wanna do is probably just do a bit of a root stretch and like maybe darken up the top. And it's funny because probably the next time I get my hair done, I'll be like, Let's go back to blonde and stuff. I think it'll be good to just try and let my hair grow a little bit more because I want it to grow. I feel like it doesn't really grow past a certain point. In other news, I'm a little bit concerned that I've injured my foot. My heel is a little bit sore on one of my feet and I think it's put... Oh, I can't say it. It's a very common thing that happens to your feet sometimes. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe not run for a week. I really want to go to a podiatrist and get my running analyzed and just figure out, you know, exactly what I should be doing to avoid injury. So I really don't want to get injured and then not run. But I need to make sure I'm looking after myself. It's getting hot in here. But yeah, this is the hair before. She's looking very, very blonde. Um, that smoothie has just made me feel a little bit icky. I moisturized my legs and my arms with oil. And there's like oil on my car now. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get going. in the background that's my boyfriend on the treadmill <laughs> good morning happy thursday my housemate elise was like did you do your hair i'm like no i slept like this it actually looks kind of cute the way it's like left out like this i try and sleep with my hair up because i know sleeping with it out is bad for it i do have a silk pillowcase but i also don't like sleeping with it up but i saw a tiktok of a girl who does it like this and then leaves the front parts out and i guess because it puts like no tension on your hairline then and then this part's like really really loose and it actually stays quite well because normally my hair just completely falls out when i sleep so yeah i ordered like 12 silk or satin um 
scrunchies on Amazon. I'm gonna go to the gym this morning. I've decided that I am gonna have a week off running. So I'm gonna do a bit of an upper body workout and maybe try and do some cycling just to get my legs like keep moving. Cause I know when a lot of athletes or runners are injured, they either cross train or cycle. So I might give that a go. I hate cycling though. I've done a couple cycle classes in my life and they were not fun. I know it probably wouldn't be the same thing. I'd probably take it very, very chill and like watch a YouTube video and then upper body. My foot actually feels better today since having one day off. I also have booked in a podiatrist appointment, but she's also gonna like analyze my running at the same time. So I'm excited. I might like ask them if I could film or something. I don't know. We'll see how we go. I'm getting hot. It's, <laughs> it's definitely way too warm for a dressing gown now. It's quite nice at four in the morning, but other than that, no. Take out my hair. I posted a story on Instagram and it doesn't really look any different, but it definitely is different. <laughs> it's much less regrowthy. <laughs> Just give her a bit of a toss around. Lovely. It's like so much darker at the back. Can you see? Can I get a medium iced latte on almond milk with no sugar syrup? That's everything. Thank you. Okay, we've just come to the mall, as my boyfriend would say. Comment down below if you say mall or shops. I would say shops. Equally, everything is the shops. If you're going to the supermarket, I don't, well, no, I'd say supermarket. But if it's like a small shopping complex, I'd say shops. This shopping center, which is a Westfield, I'd say the shops. Or you say the suburb that it's in. So you'd be like, oh, we're gonna go to Chermside. Even though Chermside is a suburb, but I'm referring to the shopping center. But I'd say shops, whereas my boyfriend's from New Zealand and he says mall. Um, what else does he say? Cell phone, but we say mobile or just phone. I really wanna get some like G-strings um, because mine are just basically pieces of floss at the moment. They're so old. So I wanna get some more from like cotton on or something. I'm gonna get some food too, cause I'm stuck. It's just started raining um, and Charlie is terrified of heavy rain and storms. So she's stressing a little bit, but let me show you what I picked up from the shops. I was gonna order these online, but they seem to be out of stock of my size. So I did get kind of a random assortment of colors, but these are just the cotton on the invisible G-string brief. These are the ones that I wear underneath my active wear. They are my favorite because they are seamless. They feel really comfy. I wanted to get five black pairs because I pretty much only wear black when I run and maybe five lighter colors, but they didn't have any of that. So I got some like navy ones and then like a terracotta color almost. I will never understand though, why they put such big tags on things like underwear and activewear. It's so annoying. <laughs> and normally I can kind of pick them off, but I also got some more Before You Speak coffee. This is the performance coffee in the OG flavor. I also ordered some of their decaf coffee in the caramel flavor because I can never find that in stores anywhere. And I don't really like the mocha flavor in the decaf. It's just not a sweet, I find. I wish they would come out with a, a decaf that tastes exactly like this because it's it's not quite the same and then we also got a pair of um airpods because charlie chewed my boyfriend's so got a new pair for him because she's a nutty girl and then i have a package from vitally which is the website that i get most of my supplements for i got some magnesium sachets this is going to seem very random these are primal energy 100 percent grass-fed beef organs because what? Primal Energy 100% grass-fed beef organs. Because I get nauseous when I take zinc, and this is really high in zinc. So, 
GI Revive. This is the powder that I mix with water in the mornings. I haven't had this for a while, so I got a top of it. It's so I got a top of so I got a top up of why is that so hard to say? So I got a top up of this. Had that in the morning. This is kind of like a digestive enzyme thing for everything. And I think that's it. No, okay, Charles. Oh, she doesn't like the story. It's okay, Baba. I'm about to jump on a work call. It's almost six o'clock in the evening. I have very rarely had calls with international uh, brands before in my career. It's happened every now and then, but this will be my second within the last few weeks which is cool. They're based in the UK. I feel like the time difference between Australia and the UK or Europe, because it's not as long, it's almost worse. I think it's about 10 hours. So it's basically like a full day. There's a small period of time where you're kind of both awake at the same time. Whereas say Hawaii, <coughs> Hawaii for example, was 20 hours behind Brisbane when we went, which is essentially like they're four hours behind because it's so far back. It's kind of the same time, if that makes sense. I feel like it's worse when it's only 10 hours. Yeah, anyway, I'm so hungry though. I really wanna make my dinner. But I've started rewatching Pretty Little Liars and tell me why they are literally 25 year olds playing 15, what are they meant to be, 15 or 16 years old? It's so funny to me now because as a 13 year old, I wouldn't have blinked an eyelid, but I'm like, they're literally adults <laughs> playing children. And then the whole Arya and Ezra thing, how as a child you're like, oh, how dare anyone, they're in love, like, oh my gosh. Meanwhile, as a 23 year old, I'm like, um, that's predator behavior. I'm good, how are you? Can't have the sneaks, I can't <laughs> have the I feel like it's, it's not that bad, but like I probably find a spider in my house like twice a year. Like if you see videos and there's like a big snake in the ceiling or something. Cause I'm in Queensland, which is like the hot state. Content fill timer, like do you have? Saturday. I'm just doing a bit of a morning walk. Very slow, low impact. I didn't go to the gym yesterday. Yesterday was a bad mental health day. Didn't really pick up the camera at all, but feeling a lot better today. I've like lathered on the sunscreen, even though it's quite early. The sun is out. I just can't get over how light it is at like five in the morning now. I really want to get some blackout blinds for my room. Even though it does have blinds, it just, it really doesn't block out the sun. Especially if I want to try and sleep in, that's probably a really good investment, especially coming into summer. So, but I'm gonna go get a coffee and just enjoy my morning. I can't film anything not in 0.5 these days. recently got Charlie, it's called like a head harness and it kind of just goes around her snout and they're really, really recommended for big dogs. It's not like a muzzle or anything like that. It's actually very little fabric or string. She does definitely doesn't like it because it kind of puts you in control of her um, and it's definitely taking some getting used to. If you have a big dog, highly recommend or a dog that pulls a lot.
just popped to the gym. I'm going to do, I think, either a 45-minute cycle or a 30-minute cycle and a little bit of arms. This will be my third time doing a cycle. I don't love it, but I do like that it is very chill and, like, you don't really have to think about it. You just kind of sit there and turn your legs over. Like, I'm not doing anything crazy at all. And it's just a matter of whether I can be bothered <laughs> to do any upper body. I'm wearing, like, cycling shorts today because they're called cycling shorts for a reason. <laughs> I think the first time I did it, I just wore, like, bike pants. And then yesterday I wore Gymshark speed shorts, which are like loose. Uh, no, definitely a <laughs> big mistake. It just doesn't feel comfortable. Whereas today I've got the Gymshark Elevate cycling shorts on. So they're longer and they're like that nice material. So. Hi, can I get a medium iced latte on almond milk with no sugar syrup? Yeah, that's everything. Thank you very much. I ended up only doing 30 minutes on the bike. I really was not in the mood to go in the first place. I feel like I have not sat down and done like a makeup-y thing on my channel. It's so long. So let's get ready for my anniversary dinner. I've blow dried my hair. It feels so nice and soft. If you've never used Color Wow, oh my God, it's truly transformative. It's amazing. I don't know if I'm going to add in some extra curls because it's pretty. I feel like it looks quite nice anyway and I don't want it to be too. I feel like I don't actually like a super curled hair look on me. I don't know what I'm going to do for makeup. I just realized. Am I going to do the same thing that I always do or do I do something a little bit fun? This is decaf. Sorry if you can hear the fan. It is well and truly summer or not summer, spring, whatever. It's basically all the same. Clip my hair back. We're going to a restaurant called Chow Puppy. And yeah, it is a public holiday today. So don't know if it's going to be too busy. I do have a booking, obviously. I love when I see people with like super straight shadow eyeliner. Is it Bryn? Is that how you say her name? She does it on TikTok and it looks so good. It's like her signature eye look. This one. 100% your look, Connie, baby. I think it looks so cool, but I have really big eyes and I don't know if that's going to look weird. Eyeliner on the inner part stresses me out. Let's give her a whirl, shall we? Because my eyes go upwards. How do people do this? 100% your look. Okay. Sticky taped my eyelid a little bit. Not my eyelid, my eyelash. I feel like one eye is more upturned than the other, which is inconvenient. Okay, if it doesn't work... It's fine. I'm so sorry about the fan, but it is like a sauna in here. Doing makeup like this feels so foreign to me now. Whereas this was my bread and butter at one point. I made a post about how 17 year old me would be doing a full face anytime I left the house. And that was very much true. And I definitely think part of that was because I loved makeup, which I still do. Probably not as much, but I loved makeup, but I also felt like I, I needed to, like I didn't feel pretty without it. And granted my skin definitely played a big part in feeling uncomfortable with feeling like I needed to wear makeup and stuff. And it feels so refreshing now to not feel like I need makeup. I always felt like I really needed makeup to be beautiful and I don't feel that way anymore which is very refreshing. But with that said I still think makeup is amazing and it's so therapeutic and it's creative and it's such a cool thing. Yeah I just thought that was cool. All right concealers on. I'm just not good at the blending part. That part is so hard. My beloved Anastasia palette, which is probably 25 years old. Start with the lightest color. Having long lashes and a lash lift definitely makes this a little bit more difficult. It's kind of like as if you're trying to do it with uh, lash extensions. <laughs> this eye is so much harder to do because I feel like my eyelashes are longer on this side. It just feels like I'm just rubbing my eyelashes. <laughs> I feel like though, this is definitely one of those looks. Even if it looks a bit shit, it usually looks semi-okay from far away. No one really notices it. It's funny like the difference in getting ready a guy versus a girl. Pretty sure my boyfriend's asleep right now. <laughs> In all fairness, he did get like two hours of sleep last night. So he's a tired boy. Don't know why this eye is so much more difficult. So stoked and thank you. Sorry, it's going to be really expensive. All 
This is what we're working with. I think that looks okay. Considering like I normally have much more problems than this. Okay. Oh. <laughs> She's a bit wonky. Let's give this one a go. That one's way better. This one's so wonky. Oh, I wonder if I can fix that. I'm not used to having such a long wing and I think, oh, I've got black eyeshadow on my nose. I think I will only know if I like this once. Um, I have foundation on. How am I gonna fix that? Okay, I tried to fix this one up a bit. I'm stressed that's too much, but we're gonna keep going. Moving ahead, I'm just gonna wipe off the black shadow. Some moisturizer on. This is that, oh God. Oh, in the hair, nice. This is that moisturizer that like every single makeup artist used at one point, that Embrelease one. It's just in like different packaging. Oh no. And it works pretty well as like a base. It's just feels like a moisturizer. Time goes so quickly when you're editing and when you're doing your makeup. It's funny, I don't even like wanna put foundation on, but I'm going to. One of the things that puts me off wearing makeup nowadays is the fact that I will have to take it off eventually. Like if we're ever going out to dinner, I'll almost go to put it on and I'm like, nah, then you're gonna have to take it off at the end of the night. That is one of my all time hated things ever. There is nothing worse than taking your makeup off at the end of the night. So let me go wet my sponge. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I'm gonna use, this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Bit of Charlotte Tilts. I'm stressed that the eyeliner is too weird. Too much for me. Got time, but like not that much time. So I'm gonna mix it with this NARS foundation. It's a little bit dark for me. I'm honestly the worst at picking foundation shades. I get it so wrong. I go through phases of using a beauty blender. It definitely shears it out really nicely. Like, with like an, like so stunning, over the leggings. It's like a, um, I feel like I'm gonna wash this off. I don't know if I like it. I feel like it's too much. And maybe I don't suit this eyeliner shape. I feel like they just look like wings. I mean, they are wings, but like, I feel like they just look like literal wings. I'm gonna wash this off. I think this looks silly. I just don't feel pretty. I don't know. Like, I know I'm not finished yet, but I wanna feel like me and I don't feel like me. So let's wash this off and start again. Yay! I haven't washed it off. I kind of wiped off most of the wing. So now I've got a very small wing. Wing. And I think that looks much better. I was like, oh, I don't really want to take everything off. Go back over this with a concealer. I don't know if I made the wing too big. Oh, dropped it on the carpet. Okay, so my camera died, which is figures. This is the final makeup. It is probably a little bit more dramatic. Probably than I'm just used to, which is so funny. I don't know why I feel so odd um but this is the outfit that we're going for thank you everyone on tiktok for helping me choose this outfit i end up going with these black slides instead of the heels just because i feel like i don't know it might be a little bit more comfortable and my heel is a little bit funny at the moment so everything is from white fox the shoes are from days daisy the releases so yeah i'm gonna powder my face a little bit so we're not so oily that is the fit i'm gonna bring a clip because i don't know if it's gonna be hot or not Good morning, happy Tuesday. I've just been editing this weekly vlog. I always forget that I am like the most productive the second I wake up. And I used to always like get up and then start editing straight away. It's probably not great for my cortisol levels. I got my results back from this Dutch, it's like a hormone test that I did. And I have very, very, very high cortisol, very high stress, so. That's great. Need to work on lowering the stress. But dinner was really, really nice. Highly recommend. It was super pretty. It was like right on the water. I should have brought a jacket. I didn't 
why didn't I think even if it is really hot like the breeze coming off the ocean is quite cool and we were outside it wasn't too bad though I got this like parmesan basil pasta it was so good oh my gosh and then my boyfriend got like a pizza and it was a really nice little romantic dinner I'm gonna end this vlog off here but this morning actually we're gonna go look at a house we definitely need to do more inspections it just takes such a big chunk out of the day because you have to drive to the destination I don't live in Brisbane I feel like people get confused I always say Brisbane I live about an hour out of Brisbane but I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog and as always I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in my next one bye